Hello everyone, and welcome to part 5 of my Fire Emblem Guide in Iron Man. So for this part of the Iron Man, we're finally up to uh, Selica's route. And... Selica's army is a bit weird in, in Gaiden. And... Let's see... Like, why Why do I think it's a bit weird? Like, their army is a bit weaker than Alms and also a bit stronger. Uh... In regards to what I want to do... So... Normally the optimal strategy is to give Bowie, uh... Two points of speed so that he can double the zombies and bandits because his speed growth is really really bad uh, let me oops let me open that up quickly yeah. sorry for the it's static screen. I should really ha learn to have this stuff open. Yeah. Yeah, so... Pretty much everyone in Selica's army starts off with, like, terrible speed growth. Ex except for Kinda Selica. She has a 30% speed growth. And then Bowie, Mei, and Jenny have, like, a 10 or 15. So, you want Bowie to give Bowie the two points of speed because fire weighs three and with... Three speed, he can double zombies, um, uh, bandits, and he can probably double skeletons. Uh, skeletons also have two speed. Yeah, so it lets him double quite a few things. The last thing people usually do is give Bowie one point of strength, but I'm not going to do that. And then since, like I said, you know, I, once I leave a shrine, I can't do anything. You know, I'm not going back for the rules of this run. So I'm gonna give the last point of speed to Celica, just cause it'll, you know, she's the one with the best speed growth, and she learns Excalibur, and, you know, all that fun stuff. For this... Um... Part, I'll see how far I can get, uh, you know, fast enough. You know, I'll either stop after the first, uh, pirate raid or, you know, something else. So one of the things that is pretty bad about Mei in, in this game compared to Echoes is that she promotes at level 20. So she's kind of just, like, stuck for a long time. And when she promotes, she just promotes into Celica's class. And Celica in this game, when she promotes, I think doesn't even get a change in her base stats. She just gets 1 HP, but she resets back to level 1, and in her promoted class, she just levels up really fast. Bowie, if he is able to promote, like, it works out pretty well for him, because Sage is a pretty decent class, and he has a good set of spells. But other than that, uh... You know... There isn't really much to say about Selica's army. Like, it starts off with some pretty bad units who I'm just gonna use kind of for the early and mid game. Um, the best unit of these four, you know, Selica is okay once she gets, uh, when she gets Excalibur. I'm not gonna attack like right that. Selica's is okay when she gets Excalibur. You know, I mean, I'm not the best expert on Gaiden. You know, because the strategies for the main strategy for Gaiden is like letting Silk die repeatedly so that you can keep reviving her and each army for, uh, you know, warp shenanigans. Okay, so one of the things I really want to do is get Jenny to be, uh, to pr get to her to level 3 as fast as possible. 
because at level 3 she learns uh, summon, and summon is really useful. The other thing I want to do is get Celica, um, whatchamacallit, uh, Seraphim, which she gets at level 5. And Seraphim is useful because of, uh, you know, you use it to kill the, the dr zombie dragon, which has the holy sword. Because of the rules of the the Iron Man, I'm actually not gonna do the uh, Dragon Shrine right away. Because I'm gonna want to recruit Atlas first and go back. So that he can promote. And it also gives me more time to level up everyone else. As far as who to really give EXP to in these maps... I mean, you get, like, no EXP. No one's gonna level up in... ...in these... ...these maps. It's just to get EXP. You know, I'm just trying to get Jenny as much EXP as possible. No, I'm sorry that I'm speeding things up like this. It's just the zombie animation is the slowest in the entire game, and it's just a pain to fight them. That that was really unlucky. But at least Celica was able to fight back. So one of the interesting things about Celica is that when she fights in battle, she fights, you know, with the sword, and it's unlike the other mages, you fight with the count- with, uh, you know, fire. And that's useful because, you know, it means that she doesn't- because when you attack- or counterattack with fire, you know, you take some, uh, you know, damage, obviously, because it costs HP to cast spells. So it's just a good way to get a bit more, you know, bulk. Okay, that was nice. Jenny was able to get two hits. Oh, they're gonna attack May. Probably because she's has lower HP and is easier to hit. Because she's on a you know just a forest tile. Right now May's getting the most EXP and she's the one that I do not want getting the most EXP. Is May is much better in uh, Echoes, but here she's pretty bad. Well, at least in my opinion, she's pretty bad. Like I said, uh, not the best at uh, you know. Gaiden. <laughs> no. Right now, a lot of this map is just coming down to luck. Okay, and then I'm gonna move uh, May over here just so that she doesn't get attacked. Because I don't really want her, uh, getting any more EXP than she has to. Because it's just kind of a waste. Like, the main thing about Mei getting EXP is just that she can get really aura. Because 
Where is she? Oh, she does learn Seraphim still, but she gets that so late in the game. Yep. May just gets Aura at level 9. If you're willing to, like, train her for that long. Of this map so far has been pretty uh, dull because it's just it's just kind of an RNG fest you know you just hope your attacks hit and that's about it Was really annoying. These zombies just keep dodging, and that's what's making this map take so long. It's pretty much just that. This this zombie is the most HP, which is why I'm trying to attack him right now, because I just want to end this map, because this map is just boring. Oops, sorry. So far, this map has been 12 minutes of me missing attacks. get like what's up with her accuracy because her accuracy should be like 50 I mean yeah it's 50 I keep forgetting that it's that in echoes they boosted Nosferatu's hit rate to 60 but in Gaiden it's only 50 so it's a coin flip every time whether or not she hits okay either Jenny kills the z zombie next turn or, uh, Stellica will. It's like all this time spent fighting these. Oh, the zombie's not gonna die, like, anytime soon. I missed so many attacks on this map that just made it take so much longer than it needed to. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So you need to recruit Saber or they want... Yeah, there's nothing really here in this village other than, you know, Saber. And you need to recruit Saber. I mean, I, actually, I don't remember if you need to recruit him to go uh, forward. Like, in, in Gaiden, you have to recruit him. Um, so, Saber is pretty interesting because 
him and Bowie both have 40% defense growth. But Saber is in a class, obviously, where he, you know, gets a lot more, uh, speed over time. So he's pretty useful in that regard. Because compared to Kamui, who joins a bit later, you know, his other growths are worse, other than, like, defense and HP. Because the main appeal to Saber right now is just that he has more HP than everyone else. Because yeah. all of them have, like, poor defense. You know, it's just... just a matter of, you know, choking these points. Yeah. I probably didn't position the, these units in the best, uh, manner. But now, hopefully, Bowie. Uh, well, this is what, uh... May knowing lightning comes in handy for. Or not. Celica isn't that much less bulky than, uh, Saber. No one's getting any hits that much is for certain. Getting really unlucky with the hits. Oops. And then this time Bowie's all the way back here. Uh, this is a mess. Absolute utter mess of just me missing a bunch of attacks. This is this is so annoying. It's just miss after miss. Like, it doesn't even put me into any danger, it just makes the map go slower. And let me guess, she's gonna miss this too? Okay, no. Okay, how much HP do you have? Alright. May. Please hit this time. Finally. It would have been nice if that hit because it would let Saber get the kill. I don't think he doesn't. Yeah, I think he's gonna be like one off if I'm looking at this correctly. Yeah.
Oh, she double cast recovery. That was nice. Yeah, like in FE5, you can double cast heal, but I don't remember what the rate of that happening is. Please, Celica hit. Thank you. Okay. Maybe not the best idea to over, you know, extend Saber like this, but I'd rather get that guy before uh, he does anything else. That was good. You use Bowie and he finally does something useful. Very good. Finally some good accuracy. Okay, we can move May up here because she's not going to get hit. Okay, the, this was like kind of like it looked like the boss thief almost. Okay. If Saber gets a crit by this next thief, then he's probably then he's dead. And if he died like so early on, that would be that'd be bad. So I'm super sensitive to crits after uh well at least in uh you know, Ness Fire Emblem after my FE1 Iron Man ended. Okay, he would have lived with 1 HP. Okay. I kind of just want to end the map, honestly. Okay, that's good. So how are we on time? Alright. I might be able to do up to griefs or daha or whatever they said his name was okay this map's a bit tougher and the reason it's a bit tougher is because this is the map it has an archer and then it also has a mercenary with a whatchamacallit iron sword or not iron sword leather shield yeah and he double saber Ooh, he has five movement run no, up four The best person to use to fight him, though he's not going to do a good job, is uh, Bowie. And the reason Bowie is the best one is because he's the same defense as, as Saber. Is what he takes. I mean, if he gets crit, he's dead. But <laughs> there's nothing I can do about that. You know. Yeah, this thief is level 3, so Bowie won't double him. But that's actually not the worst thing in the world, because it gives me more opportunities to fight and kill the mercenary. This could end up actually being very bad. And I might want to rethink how I plan to handle this map. Normally, I, I don't like playing like cautiously like this, but I kind of don't have a choice in this instance. Because I, uh, the archer and the mercenary with the crit rate is just too, too risky for me. Once again, okay, that's nice. Yeah. 
Okay, the archer is gonna be stuck there now. Yeah, some of them might go the other way. Now they're all gonna go there. Cause it's not like it's my intention to bottleneck like this. That was nice. I should have moved Bowie out of the way. Okay, Celica gets the first level up of her army. Strength is good, HP is good. Okay, if Saber gets crit, then he's dead. Unless he gets defense. Nope. Okay. Yep. Alright. Yep. Alright. That was lucky. Who are you attacking? Oh, Saber, yeah. Okay, this guy has 14 HP. How much damage did you do? Yeah. Okay. Because May can attack from range, three range, we're gonna have her attack. And I need this to hit. Good. Crap level up, but that's okay. Because if Bowie gets the kill, he gets the leather shield. Good. Okay, that's the most dangerous thing about this map out of the way now. Hold on. She doesn't get doubled, but she get if she gets crit, she dies, but... Saber gets crit, he dies, but it's a risk I, you know, gotta take this early on. Okay. Very good, Celica. Okay, the rest of this map is easy now. You know, it's the, it, I don't know what that thief is doing. Jenny to hopefully get this kill. Good. That'll let her level up. Pretty good level up for her. Okay. Saber, I'm actually gonna let heal. Oh, 
ball, you only use 12 HP. Okay. Almost. So far, all these level ups have been pretty crappy. She can't double, but it would have well, would have been nice if she got the hit. Okay, well that's a kill for Saber then. I don't remember what the calculation is for healing twice. talking a lot of crap about May before, but at least for right now, she's pulling her weight. Which is more than I can say for everyone else. end this part after this chapter and then I'll do just the uh you know thief fort or pirate fort for the next video Hopefully kill this guy here. Just needs one hit, right? Yeah. Well. Let's see. maybe by some miracle Jenny will get the kill. Otherwise, I'll give it to Celica. I think for Celica's route, this is the hardest chapter. Or at least, like, for act, you know, for chapter two. Alright. So we're gonna save. Um, that's gonna be it for part five. Next time is gonna be part six, or I'm just gonna do the, the thief port. So, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for your time, everyone. Have a good day.